Those living in the US, get a reprieve to bring your overseas fiancés to join you in the US, as K visa processing, gets prioritized by US embassies and consulates. The US Department of State lost the case of Daniel Milligan and others, and Michael Pompeo and others. Here, the US government were forced to start processing K visa applications, regardless of the coronavirus restrictions brought by President Trump's presidential proclamations. We almost missed this news that was handed out in November, and in this video, we discuss the case of Daniel Milligan and others against Michael Pompeo and others. We also discuss what are K-Visas, and what the US government have been told to do, without further delay. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate, your likes, and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. Despite the US State Department issuing a statement in September that K visa application processing is to resume urgently, K visa applicants have still faced issues obtaining a visa due to the coronavirus proclamations. The good news is that these types of applicants have won a preliminary injunction on the 19th of November against the US Department of State in the case Daniel Milligan and others and Michael Pompeo and others. In response, the Department of State has issued a statement explaining how it will comply with the preliminary injunction issued by the federal judge in that case. In Daniel Milligan and others and Michael Pompeo and others, a federal judge issued a preliminary injunction prohibiting the Department of State from relying on the coronavirus proclamations to suspend K-Visa adjudications for those residing in the Schengen countries, the United Kingdom, Ireland, China, Iran, and Brazil. The judgment stopped short of issuing a broad injunction that would stop the US travel ban for K-Visa applicants that are subject to these proclamations. The injunction means that the US government must proceed with K-Visa processing. But once a K-Visa has been issued, applicants living in in the Schengen countries, the United Kingdom, Ireland, China, Iran, and Brazil, will still not be able to enter the United States, unless they meet a national interest exception, or they travel through a non-impacted country. The injunction only stops the government from refusing to process K-Visas, based on the coronavirus proclamations. K-Visas are US visas, created for international citizens, who are married, or plan to marry, a citizen of the United States. For those not married, it is referred to as the Fiancé K-1 Non-Immigrant Visa. The K-1 visa allows the foreign citizen fiancés to travel to the United States, and marry his, or her, US national, or lawful permanent resident, within 90 days of arrival. The United States K visas are categorized into four main types, K1 visas, K2 visas, K3, and K4 visas. The K1 visa is for overseas national fiancés to enable them to temporarily enter the US for the purpose to marry their petitioning US citizen fiancé. K2 visas permit overseas national fiancés to bring your children with you into the United States. But, the applicant must be aware, that both K-1 and K-2 visas, have specific requirements and guidelines, which must be observed. K-3 visas, are awarded to spouses of US citizens, from a foreign country, whereas K-4 visas, are for spouses of US citizens to bring your children. K-3 and K-4 visas, are for entering the US to apply for lawful permanent resident status. To obtain a K-1 visa, the U.S. citizen fiancé must file a petition for alien fiancé with a domestic office of the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. USCIS then reviews the form for completeness and requests additional documentation as needed. Once USCIS determines that the U.S. citizen has established the foreign-born fiancé's eligibility for the visa 
it sends the application to the State Department's National Visa Center for further processing. After NVC receives an approved application from USCIS, it creates a case in the State Department's electronic application system. It then forwards the case to the U.S. Embassy or Consulate where the foreign-born fiancé will apply and interview for a K-1 visa. This is generally where the foreign-born fiancé resides. The U.S. Embassy or Consulate, once in receipt of the case, schedules an interview with the foreign-born fiancé. A State Department consular officer then conducts that interview, reviews forms and documentation that the couple has provided, and determines whether the fiancé qualifies for the K-1 visa. If the consular officer grants the visa, it is valid for up to six months, but it does not guarantee admission to the United States. Rather, a Customs and Border Protection Officer, at the port of entry, makes the ultimate decision about whether to admit the fiancé. After entering the United States, the couple have 90 days to get married, and the newlywed, foreign-born spouse, can then apply for a permanent resident card, otherwise known as a green card. In January, President Trump began issuing a series of coronavirus proclamations that restricted and suspended entry of immigrants and non-immigrants who were physically present within Brazil, China, the United Kingdom, Ireland, and Iran during the 14-day period preceding their entry or attempted entry into the United States. These coronavirus proclamations are as follows. The China Visa Ban Proclamation 9984, issued January 21, 2020, there is no termination date. The Iran Visa Ban, Proclamation 9992, issued February 29, 2020, no termination date. The European Schengen Area Visa Ban, Proclamation 9993, issued March 11, 2020, with no termination date. The Ireland and UK Visa Ban, Proclamation 9996, issued March 14, 2020, with no termination date. The Brazil Visa Ban, Proclamation 10041, issued May 25, 2020, also with no termination date. After these proclamations were made, US embassies and consulates worldwide shut down and stopped adjudicating visas, including K visas. The resumption of visa processing applications at U.S. embassies and consulates began processing visa applications again on 15 July. Nonetheless, K-Visa applicants were still facing barriers in submission of their applications, with a number of consulates stating that they were not processing K-Visas. The U.S. State Department then issued a statement confirming that on 28 August, embassies and consulates began processing K-Visas. Unfortunately, many couples still faced barriers in submitting their applications and scheduling interviews. In response, 153 U.S. citizens and their foreign fiancés brought suit against the United States government in the case of Daniel Milligan and others, and Michael Pompeo and others. To comply with the preliminary injunction, the Department of State has released a statement saying that K-1 visa applicants that are named plaintiffs in Milligan and Pompeo and subject to a regional proclamation should contact your nearest embassy or consulate for guidance on scheduling a visa interview. The statement confirms that regardless that you are caught in a COVID-related regional proclamation, you can still be scheduled for a visa interview. The decision of the court order does not require that plaintiffs in Milligan and Pompeo to be given any special priority ahead of other K-Visa applicants that have been scheduled or requested visa interviews. Once you are issued a K-1 visa, you will still need to comply with the presidential proclamations. Therefore, unless you are able to meet the criteria for a national interest exceptions, or you are traveling through another country, you are barred from entering the United States. If you have been present in a country covered by a regional proclamations, in the 14 days before entry, you will be prevented from entering the US. 
Check out our other video on how to avoid the US travel ban, after you have obtained your K visa. If you don't live in one of the areas covered by the presidential proclamations, you will continue to have your application prioritized, and processed, in line with the existing phased resumption of visa services guidance. Do you have any questions about the travel ban? And have you been affected by the restrictions on K visas? Comment below. I am can help with your visa application to the United States, the UK, and other countries. If you need help with a US visa, a UK visa, or visa to Europe, including help with appointment booking obligations, I am can help. For more information and advice on US immigration, UK immigration law, and EU visa applications, or if you need any help or assistance please, reach out to your visa coordinator at IAM. Don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell, for more travel and visa updates.